Attempting to do several things at once, which is why, as ever, I'm befuddled and bemused. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. I'm assuming it doesn't really matter. Please let me know in the chat while I'm fiddling if you can hear my voice and you can hear hear the sound. Um, if you can hear both, that'd be great. Just let me know. Let me know in the comments, please. just at the minute. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So it's coming through here. If I was to turn that off. Because the added uh, 
difference. I mean, this is an impromptu, uh, not planned or scheduled live stream. Welcome, welcome. Let me start there. Welcome to the Molten Music Technology live stream that just seems to be happening this evening for reasons which will become clear hopefully in a moment. But ultimately, I, I'm, as I say, I'm trying to do certain things which I don't normally do in a live stream, and that's kind of tripping me up. So I'm just trying to work out how best to make that happen without it distorting. I do, I that. do that. Yeah, no, that, yeah, didn't, that work. didn't work. <laughs> Except, Except I can, I hear, can myself hear myself over there, over there which, which is not, is not supposed, supposed to happen. To happen. Oh, God, hang on. So, so I've stopped, stopped monitoring, monitoring, but I've turned, turned on monitoring. So why am I no longer hearing monitoring? Pop, pop. <laughs> this is a face, a face of, confusion of confusion right now. Right now. <laughs> Alright, I've discovered right, the problem. problem. So what so I'm trying, what trying to, do to do over here, here that you that can't, can't see, see is, is um, I'm, I'm trying, trying to record, record the music, music out of here as all year. So I'm trying to capture, capture some, some music, music this evening. This evening. And, and I figured, I figured trying, trying to do, trying to do that, that through my main computer while, while trying, trying to broadcast, broadcast at the same time just seemed like too many things happening at once. So I thought I'd run it through my surface over here. Which was Which working, working brilliantly, brilliant, except, except I've just realised I'm, just realized, I'm actually, running actually running on Windows, Windows Audio, Audio rather than, than um, through, through the, the sound, sound card, card, which will account for everything. For everything. So, so one, one second. second. Sorry, Sorry, just talk, just talk much about yourselves. yourselves. Uh, uh, that, that is what I want. want. Oh, look, there we go. Okay, let's try again. Does that is that as hot as it was before? Echo's gone. Good. Feedback what? Okay, good. <laughs> Fine again. Good. Right. I was getting a little bit of crackling, so I'm just going to start Studio One again, see whether I can uh, just get to the bottom of this. And then I'm going to crack a beer, I think. It's what I'm going to need at this point. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Right, nearly there. Let me just get this bit sorted, and then we'll, we'll talk about what the plan is. Thanks so much for turning up. I mean, <laughs> I just figured I'd put it live because oh why the heck not was is most of my feeling most of the time so let's do a new song yeah one of those sticking it oh no that's not what I want to do at all I don't want to do that I want to do this okay <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, how's that sounding? That's looking much healthier. <laughs> much healthier. Good. Good lord. Right, okay, where are we? Are we good? Hopefully now voice is back and stuff's happening and we've got sound out there. Yes, right, good. Yes, right. <laughs> Let's just turn that off for a minute. All right, welcome again. Yeah, I think I might have fixed that now. I think I might be getting somewhere. So what on earth is this about? What am I trying to do? Well, a couple of things all at once. Um, the main thing is that uh, I've got, I'm getting through a lot of work at the moment, which is great. You might have seen my Descartes voice uh, videos and a review of that got a few other things under my belt as well which is good really moving forward doing a lot of soldering on the Descartes dream all these things are churning along and so I came to a point today where I had uh, uh, I'd finished doing all the resistors on the voice cards of the Descartes voice uh, so it's all covered in cables now I got some kind of idiot so it's beautiful beautiful it is look at all those resistors Oh, 200 odd on each right so very pleased with that and I've 
done a video on it, most of which is time lapse. And I've got like 35 minutes of time lapse, <laughs> which somebody worked out for me is like 14 hours. 14 hours of soldering I put into those voice cards. Sounds about right. It felt like sort of two, uh, two hours a, a board. Although I didn't do them one at a time, I did them in a bit of a production line. So, um, so yeah, so I've got these this thirty five minutes of time lapse, which of course has no has no soundtrack, has no speaking on it. It's just soldering at high speed. So normally speaking, with time lapses in these videos of DIY stuff that I do, I drop in a bit of music from somewhere, something I've stolen off another performance I did, or one of my performances, or a track from. Uh, an album or whatever, I just drop it in there. But I think, you know, half an hour's worth of stuff is a lot to pull in from other places. So I thought, well, why don't I just make some music? You know, like making music is that thing we're supposed to do with all this crap. So I figured, why don't I, I do that? I can fiddle around for half an hour, can't I? And make something, I don't know, half decent, or at least I could make a repeating something which changes a little bit over half an hour <laughs> while I drink beer. <laughs> that seems more likely, to be honest. Um, so I thought that's what I'd do. And at the same time, I happen to have recently received the Castor and Pollux um, Oscillator VCO from Winterbloom. I haven't tried it until just sort of now setting up for this evening. So I thought, well, oh, might be a good opportunity to plug that in and give that a go. So I will. So we'll start off just by looking at that a little bit, I think. And we can chat. By all means, we can chat and, and talk about stuff. And then at some point in not too distant future, I'm just going to start focusing on developing some kind of patch. I mean, inevitably, it's going to have some Castor and Pollux doing this. <laughs> that would have been would have been brilliant if I turned the right knob, right? It would have been brilliant doing this or some such. I've got the Deckard's voice in here on the keyboard at the moment. Surface going through beads, being a little bit misbehaving at the moment. Run from the uh, Omsonic Stochastic Generator. <laughs> yeah, no, I was thinking of something a bit more ambient, not really Benny Hill. I wasn't going for that vibe particularly. See, that's a magneto. That's a mysterious magneto. I suddenly decided to throw what I played a minute ago back at me, which is fascinating. I don't know why, but it is. something there already that I think I could get the hang of. Get the hangs of. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so uh, the Castor and Pollux, I thought you'd have a bit of a look at that, because I have absolutely no idea what it's about. I bought it on a bit of a whim. Uh, I saw it and wrote it up for Gear News and thought, that's really interesting. So it's a couple of oscillators based around a kind of a Juno feel. I like Junos, generally. Uh, I like the idea of these two oscillators sort of wrestling with each other inside the one module looked beautiful. Uh, I didn't really, I, I didn't hear any particular sound demos of it as such. I just thought that's an interesting thing. And so I, I was going to blow my, my budget because <laughs> I've, I've, I've decided not to buy anything this year, which just seems like a ridiculous idea, a ridiculous notion. So this is my one purchase of the year and I, I bought it right at the beginning, but it's taken a little while to get here. But it's finally arrived. So this is so this is it. Everything else, hopefully, I'm going to be doing videos on will be stuff that's been lent or sent. So that's the plan. So let me just say hello to a few people. Thank you for coming down. 
Uh, Bob Studio, good to see you, Neil. Hi, Purple. Hi. How's the sleep of eons going? <laughs> I saw Ken earlier. There he is, good lad. Uh, Lucas, thank you. Delta Jack, good to see you. Uh, Eleni, great to have you here. Uh, Ix Exorb likes my bass line. Thank you. I'll put that back in. Now, I should stress, I have no idea what I'm doing with the Castor of Pollocks. I'm just going to be turning things.
the soda is ready, let's just go with it. Andrew, hi, good to see you. That's my cue, I think.
Whoa, gee whiz. <laughs> now that is not in any way how I thought it was going to go. <laughs> no, but well, you know, I think sometimes you just got to go with, go with what appears. I'm sorry you mostly got a shot of my side. Sorry about that. But hey, what can you do? Yes. This is a superb mug. It's good for beer, also tea and coffee. So Ken, thanks for staying with us, guys. <laughs> Andrew. Nice. Thank you. It's a fascinating thing this year, Iraq. It's completely possible to find different things just when you're playing with it. And you're sitting there, I mean, like, there was a number of times I'm going, I don't really know what to do now. I don't know what to do next. I've got a, a thing going on here and a thing going on there. And what in the end you have to do is just be brave and move some switches in places where you're not entirely sure what that's gonna do. That seems to be an idea anyway. God darn it, I hope it recorded over here on this thing. Is that still recording? Seems to be. So that's um, a couple of hours worth. That's amazing. I'm going to stop that and just save it. Good. Hey! <laughs> well, thanks, mate. That's appreciated. <laughs> That's lovely. 
Um, great. So what am I going to do? Am I going to open another beer? Probably not. Probably feeling I'm fading away now. But um, there we go. I hope that was interesting or useful or something. That was the, the baseline in there was the Castor and, and Pollux. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. You've got these two, got these two things. I mean, I could just have a quick, if I take it out of everything else, just give it pure waveform. Just for a moment. So essentially you've got a sawtooth wave, a pulse, and a sub. That's my understanding. Then you've got that again on the other side. That one's been moved about a bit by the chorus, I think. Which allows it to detune from itself. So yeah, I'm going to spend a bit more time with that. Will I do a review? Yeah, well, probably. It's, it's just something I wanted to play with more than uh, a job, if you know what I mean. So that's cool. We'll, uh, we'll play with that some more. But I quite liked what I got out of the Deckard's voice, particularly at the end. <laughs> I got that wobble thing going on. Anyway, slowly losing my mind. Thanks for sticking with me, that's much appreciated. This Saturday, uh, I'm doing some DIY, some soldering with friends with the Southern California Synth Society. That's at 12 o'clock in California, or 8 p.m. Saturday night, right here. Gonna be over there doing a bit more soldering, probably diodes, I suspect. And that, that'll be good. They've got a whole weekend of stuff. You've got performances from, I think, dozens of people from Friday night going through till Sunday. And for us, they're sort of starting at 12 noon and then going through into the evening. So for us, that's from 8 uh, through to late. But you'll probably be able to pick up a good chunk of it. So do go and check that out. That's this weekend on YouTube. I think it might be called the South, the SoCal Synth Society's Synth Summit or something. But if you check out any of my uh, feeds, you will find a link to it there. There of in. So... Yes, soldering. Oh good, well this this is, I'm glad this was helpful for soldering because this is supposed to be a soundtrack to soldering, although that's not what I thought. I had no intention of doing anything quite so fast at the first three quarters of it. That seems a bit frantic for soldering, but hey, it's gonna be a time lapse, so who knows. I'll, I'll just drop it in and I'll cut out the crap bits and see how it goes. <laughs> I think the job was done. Better than Eurovision. Is that on? Oh, what, Saturday night? Oh, is that? Oh, am I clashing with Eurovision? Good Lord. Oh, well. <laughs> I have to have it on in the background. Purple, hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everybody. You've been really nice. I appreciate it. I just got on with it. <laughs> Who's going to give up work? That's what I want to know. I don't see any any situation in which I can give up work. When is that ever going to happen? I 
I didn't really have any spare reverb or delay to put onto that lead sound. I just didn't have anything. Because the main, I mean, I've got a reverb that I use generally on everything a bit. And then I've got the magneto, which is an overly complicated delay line. I need some, I need a simpler delay. I do have the, um, the Erica Synth stereo delay, which isn't too bad. It's just a really wide module. I need a good, simple delay to get in there. Anyway, looks like you had a nice time chatting to each other. Lovely, good. <laughs> Thanks. You say lovely things. I really, that's lovely. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Great. Super. Yeah, I did, did have a top camera. Um, <laughs> and I did show that for, for a couple of minutes. And then I went back on the main camera and then forgot about it. Really. it's I don't have a satisfactory way of getting this all on camera at the moment. I quite like the setup in terms of playability, in terms of working with it, but it's a bit tricky to get it all in shot without having to pull too far away because it's a bit too it's a bit too portrait mode, isn't it? Hmm. I have to think about that. Cuz when I had it all here, yeah. Oh well. Keeping at it. Tip top Z5000, yeah, yeah. I think it's it might be a bit too um, a bit too heavy handed. <laughs> Disting. Yeah, I had also had some tempo troubles. I need to find a way of just cutting the tempo like in half because I I kind of like to do that. I had the clock was running from the variegate, and of course one of the sliders, the slider for the tempo, wasn't where it was when I set it originally because I then moved it to make it do something else which I then didn't really use. And so the tempo was all over the tempo slider was all over the place. So when I attempted to go back to try to recapture the tempo, it just went all over the place. So I need I need to think of a better way to be able to split tempo in half. So that's one of those one of those lovely clocking type things people talk about. I need to do more of that. Yes. FX Aid, that sounds familiar. You can load from site on PC into FX Aid All Effects. <laughs> sounds like you've been at the source, mate. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. Well, funny enough, I've got some uh, Rebel Technology via Bafaco stuff to do. And so that's very DSP based. That I'm probably going to find all the effects I could possibly dream of in that fella. That's coming along soon. Anyway. That's probably going to have to do. I think the mission was accomplished in some way or form. Hopefully I'll see some of you Saturday night. Uh, after that, we are, good lord, I mean, we're careering towards the end of the month again already. I'm going to have to be doing a, month, a Molten Monthly next week, which probably means another live stream, maybe on the bank holiday again. I don't know. I'll have to give that some thought. Um, otherwise, I hope to get my, <laughs> my uh, soldering resistors that I did this music for video up tomorrow. Uh, then I'm, I'm messing around at the moment with um, an ADAT box in order to do modulation from a door DC coupled into here and then recording back in again just as a just as a bit of a thing bit of an aside and then I got a whole load of other stuff to do tons and tons of it uh, I am Mr. Popular at the moment I've got far too many things I'm not allowed to tell you about and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get them all done but that's that's just how things are and I'm good with that uh, the other thing is, that if you feel like sponsoring me for my cycle ride this month, I'm cycling 100 miles, which is massive for me. 
and we're already two thirds of the way through the two three quarters two third I don't know we're most of the way through the month and I've done 48 miles I've got a long way to go so if you fancy sponsoring me for uh, prostate cancer in aid of prostate cancer then do please throw us a fiver or something that would be great uh, the link again will be on my Facebook or Instagram or all those sorts of places you'll dig it out or just ask me directly so that's it cool I will see you all soon take care of yourselves and uh, thanks very much for tuning in <laughs>